Hello everyone, my name is Creative and welcome to my new YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your in-game world currency, how to add items to your marketplace, and walking you through the steps of how to tie them all together. Let's begin. All right, let's begin. I am so excited for today's video. Spatial just came out with this brand new feature that's gonna allow creators, users to have a new experience. Yes! Currency is gonna be something that we're going to be seeing more environments use because now players can actually get rewarded for quest missions or whatever experience people wanna create and they can actually earn in-world currency. Not only that, is that then they can start buying assets, digital assets. It can be an avatar, it can be a hoverboard, it can be a jetpack. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through steps of how to create your currency. We're gonna go through adding an item to the store, and then we're gonna be showing you how to connect it all together in a quest so you guys can see how it looks like from start to finish. Oh, yeah. We'll go ahead and open up Unity and we'll walk through that, that entire process. But first, we need to log into spatial.io. We need to go to our profiles and we need to hit studio. Once we get to studio, we wanna to go to our, our world that we want to create the currency. I have already created my currency, so I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the process pretty quickly. So that you wanna go ahead and hit this tab up here where it says currency. You're gonna add a thumbnail, you're gonna add a name, a description, and then the most important part that you wanna remember is the ID, so keep that in mind. And once you have this set up, um, you're gonna see it right here at the top right. Here's the actual image. Oh. Here's the actual image of the coin, so you guys can see where that ties into place. So that's how we create the currency, really fast and easy process. Now, the second part I wanna to talk to you guys about is uh, the marketplace. You can have your own marketplace in here where you can sell uh, your avatars, uh, your digital assets, or whatever you guys want in here as you guys move forward. I know that you're now having attachments. You can also do, um, uh, you know, emojis and dances and, and so on and, and different type of things that you can do with your, your character. Now, it's kind of, we're at a very entry point. So what this video is gonna show is just some very entry things that you can add. But in the future, I know that you're gonna be able to power boost your avatar and add different attachments um, over time that are really gonna enhance the experience of the metaverse uh, that you're gonna be experiencing. So we've already talked about creating the currency. And as you guys can see, here are the two items that I have right now inside my shop. I'm gonna show you real quick how to add one. Um, so all you need to do is go back to your studio, go ahead and hit new, and you can either add a basic item or go through the Unity package. I've already uploaded um, one of my avatars uh, for you to use already through the Unity package. So I'm gonna walk you through it. So I'm gonna hit Unity. Here are the two that I've already uploaded. I'm gonna use uh, the Polygon Spaceman. And as you can see, these are all the details that are going to be asked that are gonna be seen when you get inside the marketplace. So obviously here's the name. We're just gonna keep it the description. Here's the, the ID. And then it's gonna ask us, do we wanna put it for sale? If we hit yes, that's gonna allow us to put it for sale so you can see it in the marketplace. As you guys can see, we have spatial coins. And in this video, I'm not gonna dive into spatial coins. It's still kind of new, but spatial is coming out with their own currency that's gonna be able, that you're gonna be able to use across all worlds. Oh, yeah. But for this video, we're just gonna be doing in-game currency. So we're just gonna hit the drop down, and you can see my name of my currency is already there. We're just gonna select that. Now, what is the price point? This is where it gets really interesting. Keep in mind, when you create your game, you want to reward them. Think about how much money or how much currency you're going to reward them. So this is going to be this is going to be up to you. But really think really think hard about how you're going to do this. I'm just going to put 150. So it's going to be 150 altcoins that you need for you to get this avatar attachment. Do I want it in the show and shop? 
Yes, I want it to show in the shop. Disabled, nope. And I'm just gonna hit create item. All right, it says it's been successfully published. I'm just gonna go back to my items and see if I can see it. So here it is. And I'm gonna just hit publish. All right, as you guys can see, there's only two items here. I'm going to exit this. I'm just gonna refresh uh, the screen and see if it picks up the new items that I have. Go ahead and drop in the comments the name of your currency. Also, let me know what type of digital assets that you're gonna add inside your shop. All right, let me go back to the shop. Great, look, our Polygon Space Man avatar is in our shop. You can already see the price that we have here. So it looks like I already have enough currency for it right now, but I wanna walk you through uh, unity part to show you how to attach it to a quest now there's different ways that you guys are going to be able to attach the currency but for this demo I'm just going to show you how to add it to a quest as you guys can see I have already have this environment built out you guys already saw it from the previous training I'm just going to bring up my unity environment and here is my quest that I have already under under your quest what you want to do under quest rewards in our last video we talked about how to create a badge but for us to add the currency all you need to do is hit the plus and select items now very important to keep this in mind this right here this is the id of the currency that i created and i used as you guys can remember inside my currency here is the id you want to make sure that this id is connected to the id here second part make sure you put the right amount of currency or the right amount of money here uh, i've accidentally hit too much and put way too much currency when i was first testing out and i got a lot to so keep that in mind make sure you think it's, it's, it's at a good uh fair price i'm just gonna do like i'm just gonna do 100 right um so what this is going to do is that when the quest is complete when i'm done collecting the two coins going through the portal i'm going to get rewarded a badge a badge and i'm also going to earn a hundred of my owl coins yes. one very important part i want to bring up is the safe user progress if you leave it unchecked the user can keep coming back and keep playing the quest and keep earning the items and the currency and the badges if you turn it on it's going to save that progress so when the user completes the quest they're going to earn the badge and only earn the currency once they're not going to be able to keep coming back and keep earning currency so think about that as you're building your experience yes so let's go back to uh, our environment so here is my sandbox so what's going to happen is the quest auto or <laughs> the quest automatically already starts. I'm gonna collect the first coin. I'm going to Spider-Man up here, collect the second coin. And what's going to happen is I'm going to earn my badge, but you see here at the top right where it says, uh, my count is 50,200. Since it's only gonna add 100, the next thing that's gonna happen is gonna be 50,000 and 300. So let's walk through it, boom money has been in and i earned the badge okay now that i have enough money i can go back to the store and i can select the character that i want the avatar perfect there you go now it is equipped and it's been purchased i can close this out and then in my book bag i now have my character or my avatar. So keep that in mind, you guys are, are creating through these steps. Make sure you guys have the right amount of money um, and add some new items for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, yeah. Thing that I want to bring up is the save you your <laughs> Also, one very important part is to save you. you <laughs>
One very important part is in <laughs> One very important part inside the quest is to save Uger <laughs> Uger.